In this illustration, we intend to simulate the natural frequency of torsional vibration in the Abacus software. In this training video, we first calculate the natural frequency of torsional vibration using the analytical solution, then calculate natural frequency of torsional vibration using the Abacus software, and finally compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those gained from the analytical solution. As you observe in this picture, the model includes shaft and disc. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the shaft. I'll select the modeling space as 3D. From here, select deformable, solid, and extrusion. Enter approximate size equal to 0 0.5 and continue. I'll draw a circle. The diameter of the shaft is equal to 0 0.04 meters. So I enter the radius of the shaft equal to 0 0.02 meters. Done. The length of the shaft is equal to 0 0.7 meters. I'll click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of disk. I will select the modeling space as 3D. From here, select deformable, solid, and extrusion, and continue. I will draw a circle. The diameter of the disk is equal to 0 0.3 meters, so I will enter the radius of the disk equal to 0 0.15 meters. Done. The thickness of the disk is equal to 0 0.05 meters. In the next step, I will enter property module. Click on create material. The disk and the shaft are made of steel. I will click on general menu, then on density. The density of steel is equal to 7,800 uh, 7, kilograms per cubic meter. I will click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The Young Modulus is equal to 207 gigapascal, and I'll enter that equal to 207 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 pascal. The Poisson Ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and OK. I will click on Create Section, select Solid and Homogeneous, Continue, OK. I'll click on Assign Section, select the Disk, Done, and OK. After that, I'll click on Assign Section, select the shaft, done, and OK. In the next step, I'll enter Assembly Module, enter both parts of disk and shaft into the Assembly section. I'll click on Translate Instance, select the shaft, Done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. In the next step, I will enter Step Module. Click on Create Step. Here, select Linear Perturbation, then select Frequency, and Continue. I will enter the number of natural frequencies equal to 6 and OK. In the next step, I will enter Interaction Module. Here, we should define the interaction shaft and disk. In this problem, the shaft and beam have been connected together. Uh, I will click on Create Constraint, select Tie, Continue, click on Surface, First, select this face, done. Click on surface.
select this face, done, and OK. Click on Create Boundary Condition. Select Displacement, Rotation, and Continue. I will select the top part of the shaft, done. As it can be observed in the picture, the top part of the shaft is absolutely fixed, so I will close all boundary conditions of displacement. In the next step, I will enter Mesh Module. Click on Seed Part. Enter approximate global size equal to 0.005 meters. Click on Mesh Part and Yes. I will click on seed part once again and enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.005 meters. I will enter job module. Here I will save the model. I will click on create job. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on Result. Here you can observe the fix the first six natural frequencies of the model. Here we should find the natural mode shape related to natural frequency of torsional vibration. If you look at these mode shapes carefully, you can see that the third mode shape you are observing here is related to the natural frequency of torsional vibration. Actually, a question may arise that how we can realize that this mode shape is related to the torsional vibrations. One of the best methods is that you can put scale factor on 1. As you observe in this shape, the deformations are in torsional form. As it can be observed here, a slanting line has been drawn crosswise, uh, which indicates that the model has become torsional.
Here, the torsion of the model can be clearly observed. In this manner, we find out that the third natural frequency in this question is the same natural frequency of torsional vibration, and we realized this point by using scale factor option. As you observe here, the natural frequency of torsional vibration is equal to 47.25 Hz. And here you can observe the natural frequency having been obtained from the Abacus software and is equal to 47.25 Hz. In the next step, we intend to calculate the natural frequency of torsional vibration using the analytical solution. We use this formula for calculating the natural frequency in which F is natural frequency, KT is stiffness, a J0 is polar mass moment of inertia. Here, first we should uh, calculate the values of KT and J0. To calculate the value of kt, we use this formula, and this formula is used for calculating the value of j0. And these formulae have been extracted from the mechanical vibrations by Rao. Here you can observe the torque formula and here G is the shear modulus. Uh, I0 uh, is the polar moment of the inertia of the cross section of the shaft. L is the length of the shaft and the I0 formula you, you observe here is polar moment, polar moment of inertia. Here the relation of kt or the same stiffness has been calculated, the formula of which can be observed here. We used this formula for calculating kt. Here the relation of j0 has been written in which rho is the density of disk, h is the thickness of disk, and d is the diameter of disk. We used this formula for calculating j0, the formula of which can be observed here. Actually, all the, for all the formulae having been used in this training video have been extracted from mechanical vibrations by Rao. Here, uh, first KT has been calculated, the value of which can be observed here, and here J0 has been calculated, the value of which is equal to 0 0.31. In the final stage, we should insert the values of KT and J0 in the natural frequency formula so we can calculate the natural frequency of torsional vibration. The natural frequency of torsional vibration obtained from the analytical solution is equal to 48.44 Hz. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are concordant with those gained from the analytical solution. In fact, the natural frequency of torsional vibration gained from the analytical solution is equal to 48.44 Hz, and the natural frequency of torsional vibration obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 
7.25 Hz. As it can be observed, the results obtained from the Abacus software have been put in concordance with those gained from the analytical solution so carefully. Here we intend to calculate the difference between the results obtained from the Abacus software and those of the analytical solution. As you observe, the difference between the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of the analytical solution is about 2.5%.